Am I on? Can you hear me, Jeff? Mark, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Hey, it's Mark Taylor Canfield, Executive Director for Democracy Watch News. And Woo-hoo. I wanted to give you a gi- I wanted to give you a quick update after my coverage of the election on what's been going on up here. Please. Uh, by the way, it's been a very interesting and informative show today, so I really appreciate what you guys do. But um, I have a couple updates. One is 72% of eligible voters mailed in or dropped off their ballots up here in Washington State. And it looks like Seattle will be joining Portland in using ranked choice voting, at least for primary elections for city attorney, city council, and mayor. And by the way, two states, Alaska and Maine, use ranked choice voting, and 53 cities currently use it, including Minneapolis, New York City, and San Francisco. So we're joining uh, that crowd. And also, can, I have you, a can you say again the number? Do you know the number of jurisdictions right now that are that are using ranked choice voting? I had a thing I, about how many because we know uh, Nevada is going to need to pass again in 2024. Seattle, Portland, Multnomah County, which is Portland's county, uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, Evanston, Illinois, Portland, Maine, Ojai, California. Uh, I think those places all just passed it on election day in 2022. Do you know the overall count, Mark? I do not know the overall count now. I do know that up until the election, there were two states, 53 cities, and one county that used it. But it ran in several counties in Washington state as well and in other western states. So I'm sure we're going to be adding to that list. I know Seattle and Portland will be added to that list. Yeah. Um, But I I don't. Go to fairvote.org. That's the the website that's been kind of pushing this across the country. Great. I also have a quick comment about Patty Murray, elected, re-elected, um, third-ranking Democrat in the United States Senate. When the Democrats first started panicking about the MAGA candidate and election denier Tiffany Smiley because she was getting close in the polls, the Democratic ads and the, their PACs, were, those ads were a bit confusing to me and kind of misdirected. But when mm. they finally started taking Bernie Sanders' advice and started talking directly about Social Security, Medicare, and oligarchy, the fact that the Republicans represent the 1%, I think that that became a very effective Mm. ad campaign. And the evidence I'll use for that is that the Seattle Times poll just before the election showed 10% of the voters were undecided, but Patty Murray won with 57%. So that tells me that the undecideds went to her, and I think that's just because of effective messaging. Also, I have a song out of YouTube called Mother Freedom, dedicated to people struggling for mu- for freedom all over the world. It's a music video called Mother Freedom by MTC and the Rebel Saints, which is my band. So I want I want to dedicate plug the website. Plug the website. They're going over. to break. YouTube Mother Freedom Mark Taylor Canfield. That's Thanks so much, Mark. Appreciate Thanks. your loyalty to the show. It means so much. You be well. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. 202-808-9925. Anything goes Friday. We got, we got the big, big finish. One little segment for us together.